I love summer. I actually really do love summer because it is warm and it's green and there's this buzz that emanates from everything and it's just I it's just fantastic. I'm a summer baby so I would say that. But today's video is all about butterflies and we're going to be doing the big butterfly count that's organized by the Butterfly Conservation Trust. Now, butterflies have this amazing life cycle as we all know. They start off life as an egg and then turn into a caterpillar and then become a chrysalis and then metamorphosize and become butterflies. Now, the butterflies will need to lay their eggs near or on the food plant of the caterpillars. So what they do is that they've got these really, really cool antennas and they've even got these sort of scent detectors on their legs and feet. So they can smell a smell on, at very, very low concentrations. So it'll, they'll be able to find the plants that they need to lay on or near and lay their egg there ready for the caterpillars to feed, which is why Butterflies are really good species to survey because they're indicators of the environment because they're so dependent on certain food plants. Which is why the big butterfly count allows us to know not just how the butterfly population is doing, but also how the wider environment is doing. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's go out and see some butterflies. So I'm just starting my big butterfly count and straight away, I'm lucky enough to come and walk by a buddleia bush, which is also called a butterfly bush. And I can see why, because at the moment there is a coma butterfly, there's a red admiral, there's a painted lady, and there's a peacock butterfly. I tried to capture some footage of them. Up there, right at the top of that bush, that is a painted lady. It's a sort of pale orange colour. And the tips of its forewings are black with these little white dots in them. So one of the interesting things about the painted lady butterfly is that they're actually a long distance migrant. So in the spring they'll arrive in the UK and in the autumn they'll leave again. And they actually travel an incredible distance. They'll travel from North Africa all the way up to the Arctic Circle. So that's a round trip of about 9,000 miles. So here is that peacock butterfly feeding on the nectar of the buddleia flowers. And hopefully he'll open his wings now. Oh, you can just about see it on the top. There it is. When it opens the wings, you can see these big eye spots towards the edge of them. And that is a distinctive identification feature of the peacock butterfly. Look at those eye spots as well. I can just about see the camera at the corner of my eye. <laughs> it's quite tickly, actually. I can feel his feet. Oh, one's landed on my neck as well. You can now call me Ben the Butterfly King. This is strange. Oh, so he's flown off, but I've still got this guy on my neck. Hey, little fella. So those eye spots that you saw on the peacock butterfly are actually a really cool way of scaring away predators. What the peacock butterfly does is open the wings really quickly and then the predator, usually a bird of some kind, sees the eye spots and thinks it's a much bigger animal and will then fly off. It's something called dimatic display. It's a really, really cool adaption. So some of the white butterflies I find really, really difficult to ID. So the really good thing about the big butterfly count is that the app actually has a uh, list of butterflies that you could have seen. And if you click on each butterfly, it gives you identification features, which is really cool. I can't show you because I'm actually using my phone to be able to film this video, but I have got a book. So I think what we saw was a large white, which is that one there. And the reason why I think it's that one is because it's got the black tip and the two spots on its forewing. But now I've just checked the book again and actually it's, it could be something else entirely. It could be something called a green veined white. Now that bottom picture looks very, very similar to the one that I've seen. Not the, not the very bottom one, not the yellow one, sort of middle picture on the right hand side. So yeah, it, it can be difficult sometimes. I know some of them, you know, the peacock, the painted lady, the red animal, I could do those. But things like white butterflies are something that you've really got to practice. 
But the guides on the on the app is quite useful, especially if they're sitting still. You can spend time doing it, and it's really fun actually. I really enjoy doing it. So right in front of me, the really sunny patch of thistles. There's three or four meadow browns, but there's also what looks like a group of skipper butterflies. So here is a skipper butterfly. Quite odd butterflies because their wings are sort of go backwards rather and sideways rather than just sideways. I'm not sure what kind of species it is exactly. I don't really know my skippers very well. I have to have a look at the book in a moment. But isn't that beautiful? You can see it's proboscis feeding the nectar of that thistle. So there is the speckled wood just on the right hand side of the image. That butterfly is way too flighty for me to film for much longer. What's really interesting about speckled woods are that apparently the individuals who tend to sit and defend an area of light more often than go roaming to look for a female tend to be darker in colour. And that when a, another male comes into their territory and tries to take over it, that they'll come together and they'll do a thing that's fighting. So it looks like dancing together and they'll twirl together up into the air and almost always the individual who had the territory before will win that fight and the other one will fly off and it's the, the original stakeholder will go back and defend that territory. Which is really weird because it doesn't usually actually work but yet they still go through the whole routine of fighting. Look at this red admiral, just been walking along and he's just sitting here so still on this meadow suite. And here's the red admiral with its wings turned up. And if you look at it, how different it looks to when it's got its wings out to the side. Now, it could easily be passed off for a leaf. So that brings me to the end of my video. I really, really enjoyed filming this. I'm definitely going to learn more of my insect species. So that's butterflies ticked off. Maybe I'll do bees or uh, maybe some kind of fly hoverflies perhaps. Anyway, I'm definitely going to get more into my insects over the next month. Um, please download the Big Butterfly app. Big Butterfly Count app and do the survey. It only takes about 15 minutes. You could do it from a single spot or you can walk and do it. And all you have to do is identify any butterflies that you see and count how many you see at one time. So that's as easy as that, but the information that you're recording is really, really important. So please do that and it's really fun as well. So yeah, hope you guys all enjoy this lovely sunny weather and please like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel for more nature related content. See ya.